Welcome to Sweet Bay Lane, I'm Tracy, and I'm so glad you could join me for this cute DIY. So let's go ahead and get started. The supplies for this DIY are quite simple, and I'll reveal them as we go along. But first you're going to start with two wooden utensils. I purchased these at the Dollar General. They're made of bamboo and they have this gorgeous burned detailing on them that I thought really added something to my project. And they were only a dollar a piece, which was fantastic. And then you'll need a wooden plaque of some sort. I purchased this one at Walmart. Now that we have all the paraphernalia and stickers removed from our plaque, we'll move on and paint or stain our plaque. In my case, I'm going to be staining mine with, of course, Americana Gel Stain, and I'm going to be using the color Walnut. Now that we have both sides of our plaque painted or stained and it's dried, we're going to move on to the next step and that's going to be adding a quote to the front of our plaque. And to do that, I like to use the scrapbook method where you'll print out your favorite quote or initials on the scrapbook paper and then you'll attach them with a stick of Elmer's glue. You'll just cover the back side and then use what I like to call the flashlight method. You'll shine the beam of light up through the back side of the plaque and you'll align the quote on the front side. Once you have it aligned, you'll then just press it into the wood. And once your glue is dried, we then come in with a piece of sandpaper and you'll just sand around the edge of your plaque. And it leaves kind of like a little uh, line around it, you can see perfectly. Then I like to come in with a little bit stiffer sanding method and that's gonna be using this nail file. And I just like to sand right along that outer edge and it's so interesting how it just pops right out leaving a beautiful clean edge to your scrapbook paper. Now, once we have our scrapbook paper removed from our plaque, we then bring back in our bamboo utensils. Now, we want to attach them to the back side of our plaque, so we just start by aligning them up the way you would like them, and then you'll just adhere them with some hot glue. Now you could just leave this plain just like it is without any further embellishments, but for me I'm going to be coming in and embellishing mine with this gorgeous green velvet ribbon I purchased at Hobby Lobby during their fall sale. And if they have it again this year I'm stocking up because that ribbon is so gorgeous. I just tie a simple shoestring bow and attach it with some hot glue to the bottom of my plaque. I think that looks so adorable. Now mine's going to be hanging from the wall in my kitchen, so I needed to add a hanger. I'm going to be using this braided raffia and I'm just going to attach it to the back side of my utensils with some hot glue. Once the glue is dried, I just trim away the excess raffia and look at that adorable little wood plaque. Well, that wraps it up for this DIY project. 
And if you haven't yet done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you here at Sweet Bay Lane. And a shout out to all my wonderful subscribers. I feel so grateful to have you. Well, until next week, keep it crafty. 